August the 20th, 2020 it is, going through this uh, beautiful forest here in Poland. I remind myself completely of torture I was presented with inside of this forest. This is the forest which you would use to get, they have used one to get to the Port Luoch. In Port Luoch, there is ability for me to use, I have ability to use electric outlets which are not accessible anywhere in Poland because all the libraries where the librarians are just collecting free salary during coronavirus, so-called coronavirus emergencies, something they have repeated in Poland. I, I told you about, and I have the proofs about people knowing about coming coronavirus crisis. Coronavirus crisis was created by the U.S. government. I have already gave the proofs about that stuff. You're not allowed to use any kind of electric outlets in any library. Librarians only give issues and uh, books and take the books back to the readers. And you're not allowed to enter the library, and this is the way it is. You deal literally through the window with them, like you would go to McDonald's drive through By the way, when I'm recording this video, my ears are completely busted. They are, they, it's like eardrums are destroyed or something like this. And I have mentioned this issue the first day I moved to Vyakova 9 here in Lodz. They have used at large directed energy weapons. And these directed energy weapons, they would just, I don't know what they have done to my eardrums. Eardrums are no longer the same for months already. They are just like... Like, you know, he would have full ears of water, basically. This is, this is the issue I'm dealing with. And even the recording the video, it's painful, actually. It's disturbing. This is the way it goes. Um, this video is going to be about interrogation techniques Polacks have used through Americans, literally, to find out to pinpoint exactly the locations which I would use to store my number one personal belongings and number two proofs about MK Ultra abuse that lasted in Poland. Torture, physical torture. This was more than MK Ultra. Uh, at one point I have to say that I had a pain in my right foot that reminds that I finally started to understand why is it um, I had this pain, where this pain, how this pain occurred. This, this pain occurred during NK Ultra in this factor, in this legs, they would have me pick up the boxes, drugged up literally and stash them uh, basically for free work in the factory for them to pick up the boxes and stash them. They were doing this shit already MK, under MK Ultra. All through, I did not acknowledge any kind of permanent damages to the spine. Uh, it did became clear that something, however, was very, very wrong. The problem eventually even I intensified because of I am really I have spoken about previous spine injuries, heavy, heavy spine injuries that I suffered. Um, and I have for that matter accused Russia of causing those spine injuries. I have claimed they have actually inserted something in this portion of my spine, something that would squeeze nerves when you would do any kind of exercise and would literally start to paralyze you. This is the stuff I have experienced. However, it could be attributed to abuse under MK Ultra, And those are the issues I have experienced as I was incapable to work in United States 
already you're talking about the year 2006, 2007, 2008. I have suffered really, really heavy uh, physical injury. In the US, I was performing a job like security officer, uh, truck driving, eventually nothing that would uh, have as a result um, that will leave me as a result in any possible way like physically injured but it was this one time when I went to the school for Stevens transport for the truck driver intercontinental that uh, they would throw me out of the truck drag me up throw, throw me out of the truck throw me back inside of the truck that uh, when they throw me back inside of the truck during one month of this training um, which lasted more than one month that I became like a semi-handicapped for unknown reason and it was not unknown reason I was brought to the Poland and so the stuff that I talked about the Russia that they might have done something like this because this is what they talked to me under MK Ultra they're gonna do they're gonna put some kind of a clamps they're gonna squeeze in spine nerves and stuff like this and if I would behave well they would remove them somehow which miraculously pain in the spine disappeared really during 2017 when I was in Belarus this is really unexplainable so I'm I'm really not sure about that issue how what what went on whatever but still you know in my left leg and you're talking already about 2000 and really back in time uh, I never had any kind of pain but in my right leg it appeared as if I attributed this like I'm being tired or something like this it was not being tired it was attributed actually the truth is that thing definitely was related, related to the spine and that's the shit that was done I believe in Poland already with those boxes not only with the boxes but they hated me so much they would take a backpack and not like this bigger one yeah, I'm talking about American MK Ultra staff members and Polish and others and they would unequally adjust the backpack in other words so that one side would be shorter the other side would fall down longer and they would just deliberately make you carry very heavy drugged up and carry you stuff like this around basically these people were up to no fucking good the glasses the glasses Bojan over there in Grotnika demonstrated were not even my glasses my prescription but according to them because I was making fun they would find a reason in anything to damage to hurt um, of immigrant from I think it was Armenia I probably he had the stupid glasses all glasses that they were broken and stuff like this and they would do the stuff like this deliberately they were brought it to the table and you would see like people carrying like funny shit that they shouldn't and he would say why are you carrying this kind of stupid glasses like this you look stupid and the next thing what they would do is they'll get you a glasses with the wrong prescription and they had me carry those glasses you my vision would be fucked up would completely be destroyed this is what Poland was doing here Poland was up to no good from beginning of time from 1995 when it all started these people wanted to see me dead basically at all costs that's all I can tell you today this is the only conclusion I came up to whenever they wanted to involve someone in a project MK Ultra through which they would connect person to either a business people Americans or Germans or someone they could use as a connection that's the only thing they would do they would just get you in a funny situation uh, for instance psychologists I have spoken about Justina Kenjerska the only thing she would do is she would put me to a funny crazy spot by the lake 
um, a lady, eventually the lady from Vietnam, would be sewing stuff. And prior to this, they would have me for three days, one week, stare at the wall. They would bring me to institutions here in Poland, sometimes and leave me for one week like this, staring like stupid in the wall inside of the hospital where there would be disabled people. This is not torture, this kind of stuff. You lift somebody from Miami from his bed and you bring him to, to, to some other country and you just do stuff like this. This is normal to you. Stuff like this is a killing. This is a killing procedure. And this is what they were up to. And then when you would say something, because there's nothing to say, you're drugged up, you sit over there on the bank of this piss, not even a lake really. Just as I have expressed myself, this is full of chemicals and dirty and so dirty that Americans had to go to the physicians, to doctors, because they had infection, the skin infection and stuff like this, when they would bat themselves inside. A real piss. <laughs> compared to where I'm coming from, compared to places where I was, just brought basically to a place like this and just thrown over there at mercy. And then when you would say something, you would be guilty, you are swine, you did this, you did that, you are insensitive, you're going to pay for this. And the only thing she would do is she would just write down, tick, 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 he did this, he did that, he did this. And these are all karmas he's going to have to pay for. This was basically her job. If I was in compliant with a MK Ultra staff member, and I would say something to a staff member, MK Ultra staff member, the staff member had a right to retaliate me and just talk to her about it. She would note this on a piece of paper, and those are then the issues uh, I would get served on the plate after MK Ultra. This is the way this psychologist operated basically according to her karma basically this is how it is of course she did not spend a single fucking day in my skin and she was full of great advices about what kind of food i should eat and where i should buy one and how i should uh, do basically the unavoidable stuff like this uh, stupid stuff like this so it would hurt more basically this is this is this was the primary idea about this and inside of this forest what went on chris the american guy he would they would bring me here and they would just interrogate and interrogate on create all kinds of situations on how he doesn't know what the fuck to do where to hide the personal things what to do that they're gonna find him that they see him everywhere in this whatever he does and so on and so forth help please and you're drugged up and you see the person that, that needs help because this is so contradictory you know they know that you're a good person but this isn't about your being good a bad person this is about like total evil having a complete control of your mind through emotional exploitation physical and emotional exploitation so they would let you walk do all kinds of stuff without sleep without rest you would be like completely out and would be asking about where would you hide the things where would you put the things this is this is the technique this is about this forest i think and they inquired about personal belongings, which I have eventually even helped individual uh, to find the location. In Poland, Slovenian people should take a note. I was not allowed to place things absolutely anywhere on any private property, like a millions of fans, uh, fields they have, yards they have. They would not allow you to put stuff that you place inside of your bag that you would place someplace they don't fucking allow you any farmer any person here in lodge the only thing they got is was they wanted to it was to retaliate that's it 
zemsta, retaliation. That's all there is. And that's the stuff that I have written about today on the blog that you know, Donald Trump talked about us being related to the Pollocks and stuff like this. If you like crime, if you like drugs, if you like alcohol, you can go ahead, as far as I'm concerned, you can welcome them in your country. Because this is when you're going to get behind every one of them, behind the woman, behind the child, not behind only men only. There is a criminal Polish state, and this basically is what they stand for. A crime, a most severe crime, the, mo the worst possible things they can do to the human being. Bestial, completely, completely bestial without absolutely any conscience. Believe me, Lodge was identified thousand times, not once. Yesterday, two computer, no, two days ago, two computer stores were identified. That was on Wednesday. Actually, Tuesday. Tuesday, I think. In both of the stores, they had people that participated in MK Ultra more than 20 years. In fact, one computer store already since phew, beginning of time, since 1996, I remember the owner right, talking that, that this must be probably the oldest computer store in the, the whole lodge. And the other guy, the two friends, they had a store all, or to, they worked together, I remember them since like 98, and I got the green light for both stores. I asked about a simple adapter, actually transformer, power converter, to be precise about, for a laptop, because this is the way, this is the way it is now, now all the libraries are closed, and there is no place you can go, and they made bloody sure that you would not have a place to go that you could use a laptop, other than maybe in the shopping malls where I'm heading, and each is about at least one hour and a half one way away from where I am, because this is where I was left with broken car. They destroyed the car again. They, did, they repeated the same shit they did the first time, or they might have even changed the entire transmission. If I recall, the owner of the vehicle, it takes about to do a damage, change, what, replace the, this transmission uh, within like, I think he said two hours and a half, and then he actually reduced to hour and a half with a trained team. They know what they're doing. You're going to park inside of the garage. By the way, Donald Trump always parks inside of the garage. For those who know him, any kind of shopping mall, any place, Whatever place he had been, the number one priority for him is to park inside of the shopping mall, garage, never outside on a parking. This is always was the case in Poland. You're going to be doing the stuff inside of the, uh, in the mall, doing a computer, and we're going to work in your car. And pretty much when I was done with working on... Uh, computer I headed back I to the lake to one of the lakes uh, I did not even made it halfway when uh, whatever happened to the car it looks like a clutch transmission clutch something like this I have no idea I would have to take this to mechanic like I said this is yet another plot and I was told this is the case is gonna be What else I would want to add to this video? I really have nothing to complain about this video. Uh, there is really not much I would I would add to all this stuff. There is not much uh, maybe to to add to this video, uh, but I just wanted to, this forest here, I wanted to cover about what went on, and I wanted to cover more about what went on. I'm not going to forget the Ukrainian guy on that MKH one when I was drugged up, 
because I identify all the workers from Ukraine over there at this place, at Lex, and they were using the workers that they would issue them like um, visas, documents, and stuff like this that would not appear official inside of the system. So they people they have people live here, but like not live here and this and that. It's something I I'm not I'm not interested in knowing what they do. I I do love personally to help Ukraine. Um, Ukraine was pushed backwards when compared to Poland for the sake of the Poland because they want you integration of the Ukraine into European Union through Poland because Poland is a traitor country this is a country this is a sellout it wasn't so much because of the facial features and shit like this this is what they wanted to bring the issue this is what they wanted to start the arguments about between the Russians between Poles Ukrainians and identifying Poles as more European uh, and then a war between Ukrainians and um, Russians as per who is more whiter, who is whiter and stuff like this, this kind of shit. War in Donbass, Crimea that Ukraine paid dearly for, that's what Putin did. The biggest point in this whole thing is to set the Ukraine back as far as possible. That's basically to damage one economically, to hold one back economically. And this is the same shit like a sanctions and then basically through the trade um, from one side with the Poland and then to the other side uh, with the Russia cause one as much as possible damage. This, this, this was, in my view, that's why I'm not saying I'm not saying God forbid anything that, that would suggest that they have something on it. Ukraine only takes scraps from whatever Poland gives basically. This is this is this is what happened to 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 Ukraine. Ukraine paid the biggest price because Ukraine was loyal to Russia. All the Ukrainian people I can recall to 95, 96, 97, 98, 99 identify themselves first as Ukrainian and second as Russians basically. And their views changed drastically after what they have seen have happened over there. <laughs> there was no mercy uh, from the other side when it came to tearing apart Ukraine. So this is not this is not this is not the idea from my point. Yeah, but just I just want to clarify. I um, I got much more to tell. I got a lot of videos coming. I have to do, but unfortunately, no, no accessories, no normal life that these things could be done. They are now stealing the items in front of my eyes. They don't, they don't steal them anymore, just through vandalizing things and stuff like this. Now they, they do this stuff now through, literally, to vandalizing me a vehicle. Uh, actually, forget about this. The guy yesterday took the watch from in front of me, basically. In front of my eyes uh, and walk away from it. I put the watch on the backpack to go swim and do the push ups and swim and push ups and stuff like this. Uh, he would go and snap that basically in front of my eyes. Simple like this. They, th These people obviously work together with the Polish police, which is behind every crime so far, was something that. One insistent on how it's going to be, number one, how it's going to be the foreigners doing this stuff, but the, the, they're going to be observing everything through the cameras and stuff like this, and at one point they're going to go and catch them and this and that. And then this overload issue just went on and on and on already through the Polish people where the foreigners were nowhere near, anywhere. And the shit just rolled back, rolled back, rolled back. It became evident sometimes after they demanded um, physical confrontations to me from those who basically were there to assault me and stuff like this so they can intervene and stuff like that this, this is this is like I told you this is a shit state this is a country that has nothing to offer this whatever you are in Eastern Europe 
my advice to you, and when I return to Slovenia, this is what the case is going to be. It's going to be a cleanup. I don't care if it's a child, if it's a woman, they're going to go back to wherever they came from. If their roots are Polish, they have no business to be in my country. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous people. Foremost because of this Polish state, the Polish stall, a pig stall that is behind them. A pig stall that demands them to perform crime against others at whatever place they are. They're doing a problems in Belarus. They're causing problems in Russia. They're causing problems in Slovenia. They cause a lot of problems. Slovenian police complain to me about this stuff. They cause problems wherever the hell they go. Because the state itself, the Polish state, is just a criminal state. That's all there is. It's a dangerous country to be in, and it's even more dangerous, or maybe just as dangerous, to have them inside of your country, wherever you are. Go home, clean your Polish stall first, and then return. I don't have a problem with your being in my country, but I will have a problem with what's going on in Poland. That I have a real problem with.